Officer Brianna Tedesco was on patrol about 5 a.m. July 26 near the Lake Moore, Illinois, golf club when she noticed an SUV backed into a gravel path with its lights off, the Chicago Tribune reported. So Tedesco turned on her emergency lights, as well as her dashboard camera and body camera, and shined a light into the vehicle, the paper said. Image source, Lake County State's attorney video screenshot the man in the driver's seat had been lying back in it, and he told Tedesco his name was James Duncan and that he was from Pennsylvania and was traveling west, the Tribune noted. The officer asked him for ID, I just have to make sure, you know, you don't have any warrants or anything, which I'm sure you don't, Tedesco was heard saying on her body cam clip, which authorities just released this week. Ah, but the guy most certainly did have warrants. Aro turns out his real name was Kenneth Martell, and he was wanted in Pennsylvania for beating and stabbing to death an 88-year-old man. And as Tedesco was speaking on her radio next to Martell's driver's side door, the video showed him pulling a gun on the officer, who started screaming. Image source, Lake County State's attorney video screenshot Martell pulled the trigger, the Tribune said, but the gun didn't fire. Image source, Lake County State's attorney video screenshot Tedesco and Martell struggled for control of the gun over the next 20 seconds, the paper said, as the officer repeatedly screamed, no, and please don't shoot me, Martell also attempted to grab a second gun, WPVI-TV reported. Image source, YouTube screenshot another cop shows you been a nick of time, fellow Lake Moore officer Anthony Lovacono showed up to the scene, pulling up behind Tedesco's squad car, the Tribune said, adding that he could hear Tedesco's screams even with his windows up. Image source, Lake County State's attorney video screenshot, the paper said the suspect raised both of his hands, each holding a weapon, and Lovacono fired at him. Image source, YouTube screenshot Martel was struck in the head and died, the Tribune reported, adding that an autopsy found the 36-year-old Springboro man had amphetamine, methamphetamine, and marijuana in his system. More from the paper. Authorities launched a search for evidence in the nearby woods. Police found a large number of weapons, including rifles, shotguns, ammunition and crossbows, court documents, bail bond documentation and a criminal summons for Kenneth Martell, stolen property and identification cards of Theodore Garver, the man found dead in Pennsylvania. Authorities said Martell beat and stabbed Garver to death during a robbery in Crawford County three days earlier, Goeri.com reported. What did the Lake County State's attorney have to say? The County State's Attorney Michael Nurheim released a report last month stating that an investigation and review determined that the Martell shooting was justified, the Tribune reported, and that the officers feared for their lives, both officers were heroes as far. As I'm concerned the way they handled it from beginning to end, Nurheim said Tuesday after his office released the body cam and dashboard camera videos to the public on its website, the paper added, it's a really dramatic video. The first time I saw it, I felt my heart beating through my chest, he noted, according to the Tribune. It's hard to watch, more from the Tribune. In a report on the shooting, Nurheim concluded that, retreat was not an option. With both officers within feet of a man armed with two handguns, only one option remained for the officers, to defend themselves, he said Tedesco's, quick actions and fight for the gun allowed additional time for her partner to arrive at the scene. Her partner was then able to end this deadly confrontation. The acts of these two skilled officers were masterful and indicative of two people acting in self-defense. Nurheim also noted how valuable video evidence was in this case. This is the good thing about police departments getting body cameras. In past, there was no footage, he added to the Tribune. This highlights how incredibly dangerous their job is, HT, Blue Lives Matter.